freeways are a tool that have been designed to assist the beginner or the novice stone carver, stone facer. These tools are designed similarly to the wedge and have the same principle and work excellent with release agents. They can also be used to keep your patterns random and avoid four ways. This is the first series of many, hopeful, and uh, looking forward in the future to seeing what uh, new uh, three ways can be invented. Next up we have textured rollers, and I am a big fan of these things. Uh, I think we need a hundred of these rollers. The more textures they have, the better. They also work very well with release agents, uh, powder or liquid. And the more rollers you have, the more variety that you can create. Like this heavy uh, rock roller here can be rolled over the slate or the bark or any of the other rollers and you can create an anomaly of textures. There are very few rollers in the industry today and uh, these are an excellent addition to your texturizing mats, trowels, and other types of tools. This is a bark roller. has a lot of interesting uh, character and, and relief to it and actually the more times you roll it the, the more interesting the bark becomes. So you can go with a real heavy one once over pass or you can go with some real intricate patterns the more times you roll it. Next up we have is textured trowels. Now each of these trowels have a texture mat that accompanies it and this is these are pr primarily designed uh, for after the reliefing process has taken place to go back over your patterns uh, and your textures that you've already laid on your wall. These are vertical texture mats and unlike the flat work texture mats that you may have used in the past, they're very light, easily manipulated, flexible, and work really well uh, on vertical surfaces. Each of these textures are very unique and very different and once again, uh, my opinion is that you should be a connoisseur of textures. Everything that you can get your hands on that will leave a texture on a vertical surface you need to have have uh, a piece of. These are all varying in differences and these accompany the textured trowels as well. So if you're using a particular type of texture mat there's a trowel that can accompany it as well, especially if you're in design and the releasing process. Going through these three ways quickly, uh, there's 11 uh, in total, and I believe there is probably another dozen or so that are on their way in the very near future. These all have different uh, looks and angles, and even though there's 
the one position that I'm showing here, you can turn this thing each of these three different ways. So there's actually 33 different approaches to this particular tool set. As you look at some of the stones, I'll close in here on a three-way. This is uh, the time saver here is that you don't have to clean out those joints. You don't have to clean out those areas. Just like the wedge saved you a lot of time with the dry stack, the three ways save you a lot of time in cleaning out the three ways. So these are a very practical tool that can be used by the beginner or the expert. This heavy bark roller is one of the few bark rollers that I've seen that it makes it very difficult to find a pattern. Uh, I'm very impressed with this particular bark roller and uh, I know it'll come uh, in handy in the future. The slate roller here as well. Uh, this is a very unique roller. It's, it's, its design is very simplistic and when you're rolling it over a particular area Depending on the direction of where, how you're rolling it, you can cross over and create a, a tremendous uh, variety of slate patterns. Even though the pattern of the roller is very small, just by doing a zigzag or a crisscross uh, motion, you can the, the patterns overlay very, very nicely. So you can do a very large area uh, without really seeing a whole lot of repetition, uh, just because you can crisscross your pattern. All of these are very nice tools and be sure to go to Wall Tools to look for all of the products that they have. Till next time.